My name is Pascal LeBeouf, and I'm going to answer some questions for my friends at MATA. I find it's really helpful to, to have a guiding principle behind anything before I start writing it or while I'm writing it so that I can explore that idea within the music. Um, to get more technical about it, I, I tend to find ways uh, to think about ideas differently by switching between mediums. Um, for example, I, I really like to compose at the piano and improvise and record my improvisations to, to figure out later so that I can really express myself without having to worry too much about what I'm writing. But then sometimes I also like to work in what's called a digital audio workstation, such as Logic or Pro Tools or Ableton Live, so that I can really hear the ideas and play with the form and change things and experience the final result in some way. I think it all comes back to communication. For example, when, when I'm improvising within a group, um, it's all about connecting with the people around you and trying to help them express themselves. And uh, they, in turn, help you express yourself. And I find that when I'm working as a composer, um, I'm doing the same kinds of things where I'm trying to help the performers find ways of expressing themselves and trying to set them up in situations where they can communicate with each other and support each other. One upcoming project that I'm very excited about is a piece called Vines Outstretched, which was commissioned by Mata Jr. for the Bergamot String Quartet. It's going to be premiered on October 18th, alongside seven other world premieres as a part of the Mata Jr. program. One aspect of music making that I've found very helpful during this pandemic has been using music as a way to process my own feelings and to process what's happening in the world around me, even when it's difficult or hard to face. I've also found a great deal of comfort and happiness from listening to people that I care about and thinking about them. I think that especially music that creates intimate spaces that you can kind of think in that aren't, aren't so demanding of attention, um, those spaces have been really important because we're stuck in one place and we need something that we can escape into. Some artists that I recommend are Angelica Negron, Matt Evans, Dan Truman, and Florent Gis, all of whom are Mata alumni. One aspect of Mata Junior that's very exciting this year is that despite the pandemic, Mata has managed to provide a platform for young artists to collaborate and share ideas from all over the world. This year we have artists from Norway, from the US, from Italy, and from Singapore, all working in the same space and learning from each other. And honestly, it's just been a pleasure to sit back and watch their ideas come into existence. 